Okay, so the leg I'm going to draw in the front view because it's just easiest to see here. And again, our goal is to make this like a little hunched up person. So it's squatting. I'm going to draw a hip and a knee and an ankle. And because this is a simplified skeleton, I'm going to go straight from the ankle to the toe. A full humanoid biped would have at least one more joint in there for the ball of the foot. But we're feeling pretty simple here. So let's come in and get these all named. That's my hip joint. This is my knee joint. My ankle joint. And this one's the toe. Doesn't have any children, so I'm not going to call it a joint. It's just going to sit there. Chill. Nice and tiny. And this one will make a little bigger. But pretty much all the leg joints I'm going to keep pretty small. There. I'm also going to take a look at them in my perspective and the other orthographic views and just make sure that I'm lining up. It looks like I'm doing pretty well with the foot. Now the knee is an interesting one because with the knee um, we're going to be using inverse kinematics and inverse kinematics bend in the direction the joint chain is already set. So if I move the knee I will get a different bend to my inverse kinematics. So some of you may want to take the knee. Uh, I'm going to use the D key to move into pivot manipulation mode, which means that I can move this one joint without moving the rest of the joints in the chain. And depending on the direction you think people squat in, uh, you could move this knee back or forward. I'm going to move mine a little forward just so that I can have some fun with it. And then I'll press D again, that is D as in dog. Now you'll see that the joint orientation will be slightly off. It's pointing straight down and it should be pointing to the side. So this is a great time for me to take my joints and in the skeleton menu, run the orient joint command, which will reorient this so that the orientation is facing in the right direction. So that's a little better. Once you're feeling good about your joints, you're going to do two really fancy things. The first thing you're going to do is in modify, we're going to add a prefix hierarchy name. The leg that I've modeled here with my joints is the left leg. So I'm going to go into prefix hierarchy names and put in an LF underscore. There. Now just for some clarity, this is the left side of the flower sack. Right now the flower sack is looking at us. It would be easier to see if it had eyes. It doesn't have eyes, but it says flower. That's the front of the flower sack. This is the back of the flower sack. So at this point we're facing in the same direction that the flower sack is, or it is facing in the same direction that we are. And at this point you can clearly see that this is the left side of the body. Because this is the left side of the body, we give it a left designation and assume that its left is left, its right is right. So this is the left side of the body, this is the left leg. And we will end this by adding the leg to the spine and then mirroring. So joints have a really basic parent-child relationship. I can take the left hip joint, shift select the root joint and press the P key on my keyboard to make the root joint the parent of the hip. You can also do a middle mouse drag and drop in the outliner. So if I control Z here, I can take the left hip, middle mouse drag it, drop it off on root, does the exact same thing. So now my hip is attached to my spine. The last thing I want to do is mirror it, and that's the last fancy thing we're doing. So skeleton mirror joints. In mirror, we're going to make sure that we're mirroring across YZ. I'm going to search for LF and replace with RT. Uh, search and replace is case sensitive, so it will only do the upper cases. 
and I like LF and RT because they don't have any letters in common. Voila! So mirror is great. Um, you can try mirror function changing orientation, but I usually leave that alone and just figure that my joints are going to come in upside down. Um, you can see like, this X is definitely pointing in the wrong direction. It's going up and the bone is going down. So after I mirror, I usually just really quickly throw in an orient to make sure that all of my joints are facing in the right direction and not upside down. So take a moment here, make sure you've got all of your leg joints in place, everybody's named, we can see which side the joint is on, all of their radii are set up, and everybody is oriented. Remember that that is what orient joint is for. So go ahead, take some time, do that, and then come join me for the arm.